I'd like to welcome you to the 2010 IBA committee program. Uh, this is our fourth year. We started in Long Beach and uh, grew from seven teams to now I think we're at 62. These are worldwide events. Uh, we're for the first time ever, we've had all six regions and six sections run a section or regional program in which the winner has uh, come to New Orleans to compete for the final uh, program. I'm going to uh, quickly thank uh, members of, first I want to acknowledge the members of the executive committee that are here. Uh, John is still here, I think Dave's here. And if you're a member of the executive committee, put your hand up and we welcome you. They're all down here. I'd like to thank uh, the IBA committee volunteers who have worked all year for this program. I'd like to thank the IBA region and section coordinators and those committees that work on those programs. And uh, we'd like to thank especially those hardworking uh, coordinators and mentors who have either by students or by professional uh, uh, programs have helped our students uh, attain the level of excellence that they have. First off, this is a very tough competition this year. We're delighted to have all 12 teams here. From the regions this year, we had six teams, of course. Odwafami Oluwalo University of Nigeria. The team itself couldn't get here because of visa problems, but we'd like to make sure the representative is here. Uh, China University of Petroleum in Beijing. Where are you guys? Oh, down here. I think they win the prize for the longest commute. IFP School in France. The University of Calgary. The EAFIT University of Geology from Columbia. Where are you guys? Oh, there they are. Okay. And our sole representative who made it uh, a 24-hour commute uh, from King Foud University of Petroleum and Minerals in Saudi Arabia. Our uh, U.S. Uh, section representatives were the University of West Virginia. Where are you guys? <laughs> the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Oklahoma State University. San Diego State University. The Colorado School of Mines. And their pep squad. Uh, the University of Texas at Arlington. Before mentioning the section and region sponsors, which are vital to our program, because this is not a free program, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very expensive, very time-consuming program, and we are completely grateful to our sponsors who uh, help support us. I do want to mention one school that's here who started this program 37 years ago, I think, Howard and Chris, uh, Imperial College of London, and I just want to say thank you. I knew they were there. I want to quickly recognize, and I'll put them on the screen because we have time constraints, but I do want to mention that they have been thanked in the section and region programs. Uh, these tremendous companies that have helped each of these sections or regions uh, fulfill the commitment of having a team come here to New Orleans and compete. Noble Energy, who is our, iron, our basic sponsor. We have uh, ERA, who is an iron sponsor. Bronze is ConocoPhillips and Hess and Devon. Gold sponsors, Statoil, Anadarko, Open Intech, Marisk, SMT, and Paradigm. Chevron, who is our platinum sponsor this year. And I want to uh, introduce some folks, which is very important to our program. Uh, at titanium level, we would like to first introduce uh, uh, some executives who had been crucial to our success in this program. We shall uh, like to introduce uh, Linda Hubner. If Linda's here, Vice President of Exploration and Excellence. Comes here. I'd like to also introduce Mark Kempton, who's the Manager of Exploration Technology. Make yourself known, Mark. 
and Mike Mahaffey, who is the Global Discipline Manager uh, of his shell. Mike. With Saudi Aramco, Hussein Al Toabi, and Hussein, I know I screwed that up, but I apologize. <laughs> Hussein is the manager of Exploration Technical Services. And Brian Grotto, who's the uh, a manager uh, with Sam Hershey. <laughs> we also have two patron sponsors. And we'd like to uh, especially thank these two companies for their heavy involvement in our program. Uh, I'd like to introduce with Schlumberger, uh, first off, Rod Nelson, who's the Executive Vice President of Communications and Collaboration. <laughs> I'd like to uh, also introduce uh, Najib Asu Albi, Director of University Collaboration with uh, Schlumberger. <laughs> And I'd also like to uh, introduce Ken Namath, who's a senior petrochemical uh, geoscientist and the vice chair of the IBA, by the way. <laughs> Our other patron sponsor this year is ExxonMobil. First off, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Pinar Yomez, who is the coordinator of external collaboration, <laughs> ExxonMobil expert. <laughs> Your title is so long. We got we to talk to Exxon about shortening your title there, Pinar. I just went to it. I'd also like to introduce uh, Kevin Biddle, who's the Vice President of New Opportunities of Exxon Mobil Exploration. Good friend of mine. Um, and lastly, I'd like to introduce Rick Weber, the Vice President of Technology for Exxon Mobil Exploration Company. Thank you, Steve. And uh, I'd like to just welcome everybody here tonight. And thanks for coming to uh, share this reception with us. This is a real privilege for me to be here and be able to hang out with you guys uh, for a few hours. And, and you know, it's a real pr privilege for our company, too, to be involved in this reception and all the activities that are associated with it since its inception. This is a really good opportunity for all of you to learn a little bit more about your chosen profession. It's a great opportunity to network uh, while you're here and throughout the conference and, and a great opportunity to learn a little bit about teamwork and, and working some geoscience problems. Uh, I'm just curious, I'd like to get a show of hands if I could of all the people that are here as students tonight, if you could raise your hand. Okay, great. Okay, now I'd like to get a show of hands of all folks here that are faculty. Okay, now lastly, and I want the students to pay close attention, I'd like to see a show of hands of anybody here who is working in the geoscience industry or has retired uh, from the geoscience industry. Take a close look around. <laughs> Okay, I hope that you all uh, eyed a few of these folks because this is a really good opportunity tonight to really uh, find some of these folks and, and have a, uh, a little bit of time to sit and have a beer, a glass of wine, and, and uh, just talk to them a little bit about geoscience and about their careers. Ask questions, uh, find out a little bit more about opportunities. I think you'll find to a person, the folks with a lot of experience in this field will tell you, you could hardly have chosen a better or more exciting profession. The opportunities today are, are countless, and the opportunities in the future are, are going to be there. Uh, the huge opportunities in virtually all of the, the different sub-disciplines of geoscience. And I think if you take the time to do that, you'll leave here tonight even more jazzed than you were when you came in about either your chosen career or the career that you're contemplating. So I know you've had a lot of speeches tonight, so I'm going to uh, leave it at that and just say welcome again, and please take this opportunity to network and enjoy the reception and the rest of the conference. <laughs>